Hello, all of you. Welcome back to another revision of the costing chapter for our booster program. 100% appreciation and a big applause for all of you who are writing chapter wise exam. Hmm? It's so good that you are preparing on your own, you are clearing the doubt, and you know, it takes guts to write these exams. Mm -hmm. No problem if you have got out of 30, 10 marks or out of 30, 25 marks, whatever it is. This is not the result of the final exam. See, you all have discussed your experience of writing the cost sheet exam. And these videos, I have increased the views to three views. You can li listen before preparing the exam, these exams. Then anytime over the uh, one and a half month, which is left for the final exam, you want to revise one day before exam. These are just revision videos. Along with that, you're solving institutes material and my material both, right? Okay. Really, it takes guts and the important part is that are you able to make correct choice? So many exams when I am given the choice purposely because in the final exam also you have a choice. So 5A and 5B and C may say A ki karna. So like this and whatever corrections you have got that should go inside your heart. Honestly, so many of you have said, ma'am, I could not complete the theory or could not write this and one mistake which went down carrying so many other mistakes. Hmm? So these all are the realizations. That's why we are taking these chapter wise exams and paper corrections and revision videos. Okay. So hoping to continue with the same. Now, huh? yeah, listen, these booster notes are dictated in the regular class very slowly. When you attend the regular classes, so, so most of you have, okay, some of you have not attended the classes and directly joined the booster program. Then while watching these video pause and you can write, I think that would be fine. Now, you cannot, I mean, you can't print out the booster notes. These are logical points. If you write it, you will learn it. You will never forget in final exam. And costing is an um, analytical subject like max. This is the data, this is the technique you know, apply that technique and solve. So, so many times after reading the problem, common doubt asked by students is, ma'am, ye kiska problem, you know, combos, standard costing, flexible budget, overhead. There are so many things which are combined. So, this is the data, this is your knowledge, this is the technique you know and your, uh, you know, pen should flow in your answer sheet. Followed or not? So, what I want to say specifically for costing, Whatever data you see, write it. One product, five seconds. Ten product, kitna. Just write the steps and then you will start the problem. You cannot draw the format like you do in accounts for company accounts or investment chapter ka problem. I have triple column. Particulars and triple amount. That is fine. But in costing, just read the data. Keep interpreting the data. You are allowed. No strict format. No karna. So in your working notes, you write, analyze, you will get the correct answer. Let us begin with the revision of overhead chapter. As I always said, in the cost sheet, which is the base, most important ingredients are material, labor, and overhead. These are the three chapters uh, in which major questions, head-wide specific questions are asked. After that, types of costing, there is a choice. Sometimes contract will come or service will come or process will come like that choices are there. Overhead chapter, you have two types of the questions. I'm going directly to the pattern and questions because this is a revision class. One is they'll give you all the data and you have to calculate the total overhead divided by machine hour or labor hours and all to get overhead recovery rate. Yes based on the productive, unproductive hours and setup cost and all details is given. That's one kind of the question. Another kind of the question, overhead is incurred total. So you need to allocate, reallocate, apportion, reapportion and by three to four methods, which we will discuss in the coming hour. Okay. So that is one kind of question. Apart from that, some theory questions are also there. See, there are chapters wherein there is hardly any theory question. Yes, 
like service costing, process costing, may ATA, write a short note on operation costing. List of all the theory questions is given in concept classes app. Link is given below. In the app, in the free content, you have all the theory questions. Repeatedly asked, majorly asked, which are very important. Okay. So you can check up with the list. So we will divide it. First, let us understand the concept of this chapter. And then last, when I share the theory, we will take up the uh, theory questions also from our material. Yeah, trying some different background, you know, we should be as uh, focused and aim to reach all the stars, moon, as I both and enthusiastic feel ke liye I have changed my background. Hope you like these changes. <laughs> Just some small changes. Okay. So now overhead chapter, let us begin. I'm discussing my booster notes. First of all, what is overhead? Overhead is expenses incurred. Yes, overhead is indirect material, indirect labor, indirect expenses are overhead. Now, overheads are basically of three types. Okay, what are the three types of the overheads? Related to factory, you have factory overhead. Related to factory, you have factory overhead. Then you have, uh, one minute, these are material, material we have discussed, labor we have discussed. Yeah, these are all related to labor, we have already discussed. Yeah, treatment of under or over absorption is also asked for five marks. Nice question. scroll or we are not able to open the sheet. Technology is still getting handy on. One second, please wait here students. Over time, idle time, this all we have discussed in the labor revision video. Hmm? These three chapters are very, very important. Yeah. Indirect material, indirect labor, and indirect expenses is overhead. Yes, overhead can also be divided into fixed overhead. What is fixed overhead? It is constant in total. Whether you produce 10,000 or 50,000, the factory rent is fixed. The supervisor's salary is fixed. So fixed over it. Variable over it changes with the per unit of the production. Jitne unit you produce, that much raw material is required, right? Semi-variable over it is up to a limit. It is uh, fixed, then it is variable. For example, your telephone bills. Suppose you have postpaid connection. Minimum 350 is fixed. Your electricity bills. Minimum, even if your factory shut down for the whole month, minimum electricity bill will come beyond that depending on the power, what you are using. Okay? Right. So, you can divide the overhead and fixed overhead, variable overhead, semi-variable overhead. Also, you can divide the overhead into factory, admin and selling. Okay? Right. Now, uh, for overhead, what exactly we have to do? There are terms used called as allocation of expense. Now, why do we need this allocation? Listen to the concept. Total overhead is incurred for the factory. But in the factory, you may have departments or you may have two, three products, product A, product B. So, can you allocate the expenses according to the usage? This part is already taught to you in departmental accounts. It's taught here also. And it is also taught in pre and post uh, wala chapter in accounts. Huh? Pre and post uh, incorporation profit. Right? So now what is this? Suppose I have incurred rent of the factory 50,000. 
how many units I have produced for product A, 8,000, product B, 5. So, 8 is to 5 ratio, I can apportion. Lighting expense, electricity expenses are 8,000 rupees. How many light points are there in different department and product? So, what is the basis of allocation? There's a table in the word. I'll explain. But did you understand the meaning of allocation? This is it. Next is apportionment. Yeah, sorry. Apportionment is apportion the common expenses to all. Allocation is charge the overhead directly to the production and service. Achha. Sometimes what happens that this overhead is only for department 3. Allocate it directly. A portion is charge the overhead to all the production department and service department. But now you all know service department is not producing any goods. So service department overhead is reapportioned to production overhead by different different methods. That is called as reapportionment of service overhead to production overhead using any of the methods given below. Okay. Clear hai aap sabko? Now, these are the five methods you can see on screen. Fir se ek baat. What is allocation? Allocate this specific overhead to specific department or service department or production department. That is allocation. Apportionment. Okay, total overhead. This is the cake. Cut it and divide and eat. This is the total cost. Apportion to various product, various depend, uh, departments on some proper basis. Reapportion. We have three production department, two service department. Service department ka pura expense are to be apportioned to the production department. Very much essential. Because finally, production um, uh, departments are going to produce the goods, add the profit and sell it. So while the production department sell the goods, service department overhead also they have to bear. Followed. So first allocate, then apportion, and then reapportion. Now there are uh, exam problems asked for reapportionment. Any of the five methods? Let us see first. Direct method. Take direct ratios only of the production department. Direct method. Okay. Straight lay low up. Take ratios <coughs> based on the given to you directly apportion the overhead like that they have given labor indirect labor is 8000 5000 hours yaha kaam kiya 3000 hours ma to directly apportion kar do step method also known as non reciprocal method this method is used when one service department gives service to another but not taking see this is not theory huh? this is concept and actually Routine class, one method, one problem, one. So, of course, samajh mein aega. I'll share my routine uh, class answer sheet to show you how this works. Step method is, there are uh, three production department, A, B, C, and service department, S1 and N2. So, first, you give, S2 is giving service to S1 also, is co or, um, all the four. Okay. So, just take it, all the four. And then S1 is giving service only to ABC. So, you know, when you do like this, it looks like a step. That's why it's called as step method. See, S2. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. I'm trying to write and the screen is stuck. It's not working. One second, dear student. Yeah, S1 is giving service to A, B, C only. S2 is giving service to S1 also. So, pehle S2 ka service sabko de do. Phir S1 ka service se do. So, you know, it looks like a step method. That's why it's called a step method. And it is used when one service department is giving service to another, but it is not taking back. Theek hai? So, how many methods we have seen? Direct method and then this method. Next method is reciprocal method. It is used when one service department is giving service to another, 
and it is taking back also. Then you can follow simultaneous equation. S1 department own overhead is 50,000 plus 20% 20 of S2. S2's own overhead is 10,000 plus 20% 20 of S1. It's little difficult to take a revision like this. Keep patience. I'll show you the notebook. I'll share my questions also so that you get an idea. Routine to overhead chapter is going for 7-8 classes. Hai na? So, percentage method se kar sakte hai. Trial and error. S1 is giving to S2 ABC. S2 is giving to S1 ABC. Like this you try and do repeated distribution. Same. Do trial and error for all the production and service department. So repeatedly you do it in such a way until such a time when service department overhead will become nil. Right? Okay? Now, while solving these problems, direct material and direct expenses will be taken for service department as total overhead of service department is to be absorbed. Are you getting? Huh? I'll show you. Uh, I'll need a separate page only for this. Yeah, I will explain. Direct material and direct expenses of production department, you have to ignore. In step down method, these are the points to remember while solving question. While making column, make service column first, then the production. Because service is giving service to another, but it is not taking back. In service department also, department giving service to another and not taking back, that you will take first. Simultaneous equation mein, X department's own overhead. Equation banane mein galti nahi karna. X department's own overhead plus percentage of service of Y to be absorbed by X. Not what we are giving to Y. I hope you are getting. Ye maine isi le banane. When I teach in the class, students say we have understood. When I give homeworks, they make reverse equation. X ka own overhead is 10,000 rupees. And Y ka uh, percentage of service of Y to be absorbed by X. Y's overhead is 50,000. Say whatever it may be. And 20% of that. Y ka overhead is 50,000. 20% of Y is to be absorbed by X. So X own or X is also a service department. Their own overhead is 10,000. And Y's overhead here they are taking. Okay? So this is how it works. Then, yeah, I'll show you the problems also. Then it will be more clear to you. All five methods are clear. Now let us see how machine R rate works. Machine R rate calculation problems are asked in exam where you have to write all total. One second. Huh? Yeah. The hours given in the denominator will decide if the statement is to be prepared. So when you have to calculate machine R rate, you have to take total cost of the machine, setup and production and all, divide by effective hours. So if the effective hours are given month wise, the numerator also you take month. If effective hours are given annual, the numerator also you take annual. Is this clear to all of you? Huh? So hours given in the denominator will decide whether the statement, this is almost like service costing, but how do you calculate effective hours? Hmm? Like for power, power total hours. Hai. So now when you are, suppose in exam, they will give clearly that I'm directly discussing the important points, assuming you have already solved machine hour rate and you know it. What is the total hours? Minus the setup and repairs if no power is required. Suppose for repairing and for initial setup, power is not required. So total hours may say, if you minus the setup hours and the repairing hours, you will get the effective hours for the power. What is the effective hours for the machine R rate? Total hours minus 
unproductive hours unproductive hours hmm repairs jaise repairs ke time pe bhi you ha you have people working no who are doing repairing machinery is waiting so some overhead is incurred but in repairing ke time pe you are not producing so that's unproductive hour minus karna hai. don't minus set up hours if they are productive right or not set up hours agar productive hai to minus mat karo unproductive hai to kar do you will know it when you solve the problems in the exam hmm? while making payment to workers you pay them for total hours minus the absent extra leaves for which they are not paid so total hours minus the absent minus the leave with the pay minus normal id so total hours work this 500 50 hours to 50 total 500 hours is required to work 50 hours he was absent 10 hours he was absent with pay but kaam to nahi hua na and uh, 10 hours we always give normal id time lunch time and all See, we pay you for eight hours, but half an hour lunch, two tea breaks, a घंटा तो इधर उधर चले ही जाता है. So all that if you minus, you will get effective hours. Total overhead divided by effective hours you do, you will get the machine hour rate. Now very important question that if the overhead is under absorb and over absorb, how will you treat it? ठीक है? I'll share the flow chart and on also. But friendly, but listen. Do you know overhead are absorbed at a predetermined rate? Overhead are absorbed at a predetermined rate. Factory overhead is eight per unit, so thousand rupees into eight per unit, eight thousand. But actual, actual factory overhead incurred, which I am charging, is seven thousand. Overhead is absorbed at a predetermined rate eight thousand, but actual overhead is incurred is seven thousand. Now, have you over absorbed one thousand? आपने तो ज़्यादा चार्ज कर दिया. Factory overhead is over absorbed in work in progress. Selling overhead is over absorbed in cost of sales. You know this under over absorption has got connection with non integrated accounts. So. Production overhead is absorbed eight thousand, but actually it's seven thousand. Now you have over absorbed. So if you have over absorbed, reverse it by charging to costing P and L. Now if you have under absorbed, say actual overhead is seven thousand, and you have absorbed just six thousand. Actual overhead is seven thousand, but you have charged in your cost sheet six thousand. So thousand more you need to charge, no? Are you getting? And this thousand you have to charge by putting additional supplementary rate. One problem I'll share with you in my routine notebook, and this will be clear. Hmm? I'm trying my best, but actually, क्या ये तीन screen सामने चाहिए? Our routine theory uh, workbook, our problems what we have solved in regular class, and then the booster note. If directly you read this, ये मैम ने क्या लिखा है नहीं समझेगा. Actual overhead minus overhead absorb under absorption. If under absorption is due to abnormal reason, loss and strike and all, charge it to costing P and L. Fir bhi under absorption hai. Actual overhead is seven thousand. You have absorbed six thousand. Then put supplementary rate. Additional overhead divided by number of equivalent units, you will get the supplementary rate. And supplementary rate you will charge by number of equivalent units. Equivalent units C already overhead is charged six thousand, whereas actual overhead is seven thousand. Now thousand overhead which is charged less, it is a part of number of units sold, thousand units, which are in stock, five hundred units. You are you you are. Thousand units are sold. Closing stock is five hundred units. And work in progress. There are some units which are yet not fully uh, in stock, nor they are sold. 
अभी तो बन रहे हैं सो से देर आर हंड्रेड यूनिट बट दे आर फिफ्टी परसेंट कंप्लीट तो कैन आई से दीज आर फिफ्टी यूनिट सो थाउजेंड यूनिट्स आर सोल्ड फाइव हंड्रेड यूनिट्स आर इन स्टॉक एंड हंड्रेड यूनिट्स आर स्टिल इन प्रोग्रेस बीच में है फिफ्टी परसेंट कंप्लीट सो कैन आई से वन फाइव फाइव जीरो नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स आर रिड्यूस्ड एंड सोल्ड एंड से दीज आर द इक्वी वैलेंट यूनिट्स सो एडिशनल ओवर एड कितना आपने चार्ज किया है सिक्स थाउजेंड हाउ मच यू टू चार्ज सेवन थाउजेंड so additional overhead you have to charge 1000 and equivalent units are 1550 so divide and charge it please don't say ma'am thoda confusing hai hum ye chhod denge i'll show you the problems are very easy hmm? right i'll show you how this works uh, let me see if i can go to my running notebook and share with you overhead hmm मोर देन थर्टी गुड क्वालिटी प्रॉब्लम ये देखो सप्लीमेंट्री ओवर एड से ही शुरू करते हैं सिक्सटी परसेंट इज फॉर डिफेक्टिव प्लानिंग जिसमें किसी की गलती नहीं है कोई डिपार्टमेंट की तो गलती नहीं है ना इफ इट इज डिफेक्टिव वन सेकेंड Four lakh is under absorb. Defective planning, two lakh fifty thousand charge up to costing channel. Like that, they'll give you some uh, overhead was under absorb because of the strike and you know in uh, not normal reason, abnormal reason. Charge up to costing channel. Now balance is one sixty. One sixty me thirty thousand units are sold. Five thousand units are finished goods in stock. Ten thousand units are in work in progress, which is fifty percent complete. So five thousand. So can I say forty thousand are the equivalent units? One lakh sixty thousand. One lakh sixty thousand is the overhead you have to charge for forty thousand units, right? So how much you will be charging? Forty. Forty. No. Supplementary rate will be four. या फिर से एक बार एक्चुअल फैक्ट्री ओवर एड माइनस फैक्ट्री ओवर एड एब्सॉर्ब इट विल गिव यू अंडर एब्सॉर्बन लेस फॉर इनडायरेक्ट रीजन वट एवर इट मे बी चार्ज ऑफ टू कॉस्टिंग पी एन एल एंड ऑल बैलेंस वन सिक्सटी इज अंडर एब्सॉर्ब चार्ज इट डिवाइड बाई इक्वी वैलेंट यूनिट ना हाउ डू यू गेट इक्वी वैलेंट यूनिट नंबर ऑफ यूनिट सोल्ड नंबर ऑफ यूनिट स्टिल इन स्टॉक and work in progress that will give you equivalent units put the rate and charge it theek hai ye dekho under absorption strike or labor problem and all wo sab minus kar do fir 60000 aaya uska bhi balance one four defective hai minus of 45000 45000 charge karo so these problems are very scoring this is a routine notebook तो एक ये टाइप के प्रॉब्लम है और अब आपको आई विल शो यू दीज आर ऑल क्वालिटी गुड प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल हैंड पिक्ड नाइस प्रॉब्लम्स एंड सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स आर स्पेसिफिकली फ्रॉम योर
study material also. Hmm? Yeah, these are allocation problems. 100% where students say we have a doubt in study material problem, I take it in the class. Ye dekho. Machine R rate, depreciation, power, supervision, electricity, repair, insurance. Some are given annual. So we have divided by 12. So we are getting monthly machine expenses. Now wages of the worker, DA and on that. So total over it, divide by machinas. Effective machinas, mein kya kya minus karoge? Setup and repairing hours which are unproductive. Okay? Right. Hmm. Simultaneous equation. This is also asked for 10 10 months. Pata nahi ye question cost sheet ka hai. Yeah, this question is over it. First three months, the company is working at 75% capacity. So these many units they have produced. Next six months, 60,000 and so on. Variable cost is given per unit. Variable overhead is given. Fixed overhead is given total. So you take it for three months, six months and all. Semi-variable overhead the way you take it. So you get make the cost sheet for the whole year. But like this, three months it's now, but with now and so on. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, simultaneous equation. Corporate sales, the total is 15 lakh 20 thousand overhead. And consumer sales, it is 8 lakh 13 thousand. And then you get the percentage. Hmm. So, in what percentage you will take? First, we have done through step-down method. Now, listen, all of you. I know this problem is there in the institute study material. Admin department information, these are service department. Corporate and consumer. So, first, service department is giving, admin is giving service to information, this and this. Then, information is giving service. So, are you seeing this step-down? That's why this method is called step-down. And I always say, Write service department first and then the production department. Okay? Or service or production may be the most important is in the production. Abaja, corporate ka kitna hai? 15 lakh 19,000. And how much is the consumer? 8 lakh 14,321. Okay? So, these corporates and consumers, if you have to use the reciprocal method, you have to use A ka khud ka overhead is 94 phi 10 plus percentage here. Okay? I think I'm also doing trial error to give you best. Wait, we will discuss theory questions also, but I think you may not get everything because question read karna or usko solve karna ni ye dekho na. A, B, C are production department. X, Y are service department. Service department. Primary allocation. Whatever is uh, given, just allocate it. Then X and Y department reallocate. Okay? X is giving service to Y also, A, B, C. Y is giving service to X also and A, B. Again, X is giving service to Y also. This repeatedly you do till these two become nil. I hope you are getting. Service department ka jo overhead hai na, usko portion karte karte karte, we will bring it to the production. And please remember, star mark this point, direct material and direct wages, we will not take for A, B, C. Because unka to direct material wages will go to the cost sheet. We are just getting the overhead recovery rate. Then overhead, you can divide by labor hours, machine hours, whatever they give. But service department ka material and labor also you will take. Why ma'am? Why direct material? Because service department total expenses are to be absorbed by production department. 
service department total overheads are absorbed by the production department a b and c so service department overhead whatever it is service department's overhead pura expense you take and then give it to the production department okay what did i explain now is clear to all of you these are all basic explanation class in fact i could have started like this also overhead mein kya kya aata hai factory overhead see we have three production department and service department service department may give service to production department but it may not take so first you allocate expenses then apportion common expenses to all the departments and then reapportion ye dekho S1 may give S2 is giving service to S1 and all. So, first allocate कर लो, apportion कर लो, and once you get production department, then total overhead. सबसे पहले आप allocate कर लो expenses, जो भी आप direct लगा रहे हो, direct. फिर apportion कर दो common expenses in some basis. Now you are getting total. Now S1 and S2 you give S1 and S2. you give to production department by any of the method direct method step down method reciprocal koi bhi method se aap de do and then you apportion allocate apportion reapportion once you get s1 s2 total expense reapportion by any method acha when you add s1 to all the three s2 koi bhi repeated trial balance You will get the total overhead of P one, P two, P three. Now you divide by number of the hours and all you will get. ये देखो. मिला आप सबको. And once you get A, B, C, allocate and complete it. So how many kind of the problems I have discussed? Apportion, reapportion by different methods. Machine rate and under over absorption. now let us see the theory of this i hope i have tried to justify um, um, best is this is the gist lecture if you feel something more you want to add on to the gist lecture do let me know but if you watch this repeatedly you will not do the pitfalls oh service department direct material direct labor also i should take because service department direct material direct labor expense everything is to be reabsorbed by the production department production department we will take only overheads theek hai right check this file with me yeah overhead how they are classified into fixed and variable hmm? first you collect all the details of the overhead classify it allocate means specific cost to specific center you can allocate apportion reapportion and then absorb once reapportionment is over p1 p2 p3 10000 rupees 20000 aa gaya now divide by number of hours number of units to get per unit per hour production overhead rate absorption rate this is a theory question asked many times in the exam distinguish between allocation and apportionment allocation is identify center and charge the cost apportionment is common expense which you charge on some basis this is specific this is general allocation is done one time apportionment is done for many uh, production department allocation is charged full to one particular production department apportionment is charged in the proportion no assumptions are required for apportionment you need some assumption na case basis pe aap doge hmm? right yeah this you should know allocation is isko directly ye department ko charge kar do but apportionment has certain basis like rent and all of the building you can charge based on the floor area yeah you have paid 5000 for the insurance of whole building 30% floor area is used by a department 40 by b 
एंड थर्टी बाई सी तो उस हिसाब से आप चार्ज करोगे फैक्ट्री लाइटिंग एक्सपेंसिस बेस्ड ऑन द लाइफ पॉइंट आई होप यू ऑल है दिस इन अकाउंट ऑल्सो depreciation of assets you will charge to various departments based on value of asset used power for machines based on the horse power indirect wages based on direct wages supervision based on number of employees or time spent in each supervisor kahan kitne ghante spend kar raha hai material handling expenses based on the value of the material consumed Purchase department expenses based on the number of orders, huh? Purchase department से related expenses है. So what is the purchase value or what are the number of orders according to that you can allocate. Production expenses based on direct wages, general administration expenses based on works cost, personal department employee related expense based on number of employees working in each department. PF, canteen expense and all. Credit department is related to sales. So how much credit sales you have done for each department? According to that, they have to bear the credit department expense. Hmm? Advertisement is based on sales. Commission and all is based on sales of each department. ठीक है? These are the various methods I have discussed. Step method. trial and error method repeated distribution method simultaneous equation method these are one problem one concept hmm hmm what is blanket overhead rate when total overhead of the factory is absorbed by single denominator number of units ya direct labor hours ya machine hours it is called as blanket overhead rate but sometimes p1 department is based on number of units p2 department is based on number of hours to fir farak pad jayega na are you getting blanket or single overhead is total overhead is divided by common denominator multiple overhead rate is used when each department has separate denominator department 1 divided by number of units produced Department two divided by number of labor hours, so it may differ. Multiple overhead rate is for each department, and it may differ. Under an over absorption treatment. Yes, over absorption. Zada absorb kar liye. Either you can write it off by charging to the costing PNL as income, or you can defer or carry forward in the balance in overhead account or suspense account, or cost reversal you can do. Okay. Now, second is under absorption. Now, under absorption is koi bhi reason se karo under absorption. Normal reason. abnormal reason okay normal abnormal reason and under absorption as i told you defective planning strike and all write it off okay uh, then abnormal reason sorry write it off normal reason charge off to unit sold closing stock and work in progress based on number of units hmm? one more very important theory question asked in exam is the treatment of interest काफी बार पूछते हैं एग्जाम में शुड यू टेक इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैपिटल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कॉस्ट शीट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन फेवर यस बिकॉज इफ अदर्स आर नॉट यूजिंग देयर ओन मनी बट इफ आई एम पेइंग इंटरेस्ट आई हैव टेकन लोन एंड रनिंग माय फैक्ट्री आई हैव टू इंक्लूड अदर स्कूल आर सेइंग नो इंटरेस्ट इज प्योरली अ फाइनेंशियल चार्ज इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द कॉस्ट ऑफ योर प्रोडक्ट so don't include it this material you are having you can read it hmm? if you are one percent also confused when i showed you my notebook because notebook mein problem to humne padhe nahi maine sirf gist bataya first allocate then apportion based on some basis do the total then service department expenses 
reapportion to the production direct method step down method simultaneous equation method equation banate waqt yaad rakho x ka own overhead and percentage of y which they have to bear not x ka jo y bear kar raha hai okay right and machine are rate right? problems are easy you have to decide ki you have to write the total machinas and the total cost for month and year and do it and under over absorption problem so here we complete with the revision of the overheads dear students while solving institutes problem any other academies problem koi bhi problem mein agar aapko doubt hai click the photo and send me i will clear your doubt but you have to give time okay so just you have once and you are repeatedly saying ma'am my doubt it's not possible lot of live classes recorded classes and other schedules is also going on throughout the day okay so keep up the spirit of listening to this revision lecture add on to my knowledge also ye aise booster revision lecture banana easy nahi hai taking regular class is easy today's class only step down method ye ra problem solve karo aur ek solve karo ek homework that is easy when you take a gist you have to remember like so many questions and so many adjustments hmm? right so make sure and don't leave it if it is repeated distribution and time consuming they give you proper weightage marks also 8 to 10 so nothing to lose for your final exam wish you very all the best study super well always there to support you right thank you so much signing off now see you deepthi shera here bye bye so did you enjoy these conceptual learning if yes then below the video the link is given for our telegram group you can join for concept classes app you can download lot of videos are there in the free content also along with the pdf material so whole chapter you can download the material you can watch all the videos in detail and do learning lot of theory questions other pdfs are all included okay right so do connect with us with all the links below if you have any query you can write a mail and you can connect with us through the link and would be more than glad to help you join our concept classes app community waiting to welcome you all right thank you so much wish you very all the best and if you really like these kind of the concepts hit the notification button hit the like button so that you are notified next time when we are taking a lecture or we are uploading it in the youtube and do share this video with friends do comment below the video for any query also any doubt also and if you have really taken some value addition i am on a mission to help more than 10000 students i really want to help by putting lot of value addition with the way i have learned these all subjects are interlinked account tax costing fm and you will enjoy this interlinking knowledge wish you all the best thank you bye bye